guys. Welcome to Artsy Studio. I'm Kara. And I'm Kaysen. Hey, Kaysen. What are we going to paint today? We're going to paint a snow owl. We are. We are going to paint a snowy owl. So we are going to show you guys step by step how to paint this snowy owl. And we're going to use acrylic paints today. And it's going to be really awesome. Yeah. So all you guys have to do is follow along with us. Are you guys ready to get Artsy? So we're going to get started with the owl today we're going to paint it with acrylic paints. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a few colors of acrylic paint. You're going to need a blue, a white, we're going to need yellow, black, and maybe a turquoise if you want to add that highlight. So you're going to need paints, you're going to need a paintbrush, you're going to need Bristol paper, um, we are going to head, go ahead and tape our paper down to our our board here so it doesn't fly away or move on us. Um, and you're going to need a little bit of water and a paper towel. And so we can go ahead and get started. Are you guys ready? Okay, so you want to go ahead and grab your paintbrush. And I'm going to use a wash brush for this. And so that's like a big flat brush there. And you're going to dip your paintbrush in both blue and white. And we're going to just go, I'm going to move this a little bit, but we're going to go down our canvas, back and forth, and we're just going to fill our whole background up. So we use bristle paper, but if you guys want to use a canvas or wood piece or anything you can paint on, you can. This one makes a really nice canvas piece. But we're just going to dab, dab, and then brush back and forth. So you're going to get different color blues, and that's okay. And you're just going to keep blending them in. How's it going, Kaysen? It's good. Other way, I'm back here. It's looking good. So, you're just going to brush, 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 brush. And if you're painting and it looks like this, you don't have enough paint on your brush. So you want to make sure you keep on dabbing back and forth and adding more paint. And if it looks like that, then you've got almost too much. So you want to make sure you're blending it in. We want a good medium coverage. So if you have too much paint on there, it'll take forever to dry. But as soon as you see this, you need to add more paint. Okay, so now you have your background all painted in here. So you're going to see there's going to be some, you know, blue and some white streaks in there. And that's the technique that we used. And that's going to look good if yours is a solid color because you blended your colors together. That's fine, too. Um, so now we are done with the background and we are going to move forward. So we're going to go ahead and put our paint brushes in our water so that the paint doesn't dry. Here, Kaysen. And we are going to let our background dry for a second. Okay, so now that your painting is dry, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a pencil and we are going to find the center of our painting and we're going to draw a dot in our painting and we are going to take two fingers and draw another dot and we're going to make a really long diamond shape like the the beak of the owl so a really long diamond shape Okay, so our next step is to come over from the top dot that we drew and you're going to come over about two fingers and you're going to draw another dot. So over to the side like you are going to make a diagonal line here. 
but we're going to start that as our eye mark and we're going to make a curved line that's about three fingers long and just put another dot there and then underneath that we are going to make one big half circle and we're going to make another big half circle so that's going to be the owl's eyes and we're going to repeat the same thing but on the other side so a dot to the side three fingers a dot curve the line half circle half circle okay so our next step is to grab a smaller paintbrush and we're going to use like a flat brush here and it's a, it's a smaller than the one that we did to paint the background and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint what would be the yellow part of the owl's eyes white and we do this so that when we paint the yellow in there it will really pop and stand out against this blue background Okay, so the next step is we're going to continue to go with the white and we're going to do the owl's feathers on the top of his head. So we're going to start here right above where his nose is and we are going to make lines that go up and fan. So you can go all the way across here, all the way up. and across. I'm gonna go around the eye. So we're not gonna do big feathers like before, we're just gonna do little feathers. And we're gonna go all around these eyes. So you wanna make sure that they're coming out and they're gonna meet this nose over here. So we wanna make them a little bit longer and just keep on going around. It's going to be like a burst of sun around the eyes. And you want to fill that in pretty heavy. See how you can kind of see the eye now and it's showing. Your painting is going to look funny at certain stages of the painting. And then at the end it will look beautiful. So we're going to do this side and then we're going to do the same to the other side. Okay, so for the next step, we are going to um, take our paintbrush and dip it in white again. And this is really easy, but we're just going to come down from the side of his fluffy cheeks here. And we're going to go down to the bottom of the painting with a swoof curved line. And then we're just going to take lines and pull them down. And a, an abstract body so we're going to do the same thing on the other side and we're just going to fill his tummy in did you get that case in oh yeah i got it okay so you yeah, can go I ahead you can go ahead and fill it in and you can make it light or you can make it dark. So I'm going to add a little bit more white so it's really popping. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to the details. We're going to grab a smaller paintbrush and we are going to grab some black paint 
And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in the nose here. And then we're going to fill in the eyes as well. So you're going to give them a nice black line above the eye. And then we're going to fill in his circles there too big outline on the owl's eye so we can kind of see what's going on. You're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that we have the eyes outlined and the nose, you're going to go ahead and you're going to add some details. So we're going to do kind of a V here at the top of his head that kind of curves the same as his eyes. And go ahead and make that a thicker V. And then we're going to just put some black feathers in his hair. And snowy owls have a spot, splotches of black in their white feathers. So we're just going to go in and add some splotches. And then we're going to add some little black feathers on the outside. So you can get really creative with this and every owl is going to be different and that's awesome. So the next step, we're going to do some outlines around the cheekies here. So we're just going to go in and do some small feathering. Give him his little cheek outline. That's just going to go all the way around and meet at his nose. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so then we're going to put some black inside the body. So you've got your hair, your feathers on the top, and your feathers around the eyes. And then you're going to just kind of add some black feathers here inside the body of the owl. So those don't have to be any which way or form. They're just kind of random around the body. Beneath the eye, we're going to do a really, really light feathering. So it's almost like eyelashes for the, for the owls. So we're just going to give them some little eyelashes here. We're going to do that with black. The next step, you're going to add a little bit of white to your black, and it's going to give you a gray, and you're going to go in and add some gray to your, your eyelashes. Okay, so once you're done with your 
black and gray outlines you're going to rinse out your brush wipe it off and we're going to use this bright turquoise and you're just going to use some highlights throughout the painting so I'm going to add a few to the eyelashes and a few over to the side and the feathers and I am going to mark some down here and then up in the feathers at the top as well. So keep going with that and then we are almost done. Go ahead and rinse your brush out when you're done with the turquoise and we're going to grab some yellow or you can actually put whatever color eye you want. Kason's back here. He's doing a turquoise eye which looks really cool. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to paint. Make sure you get all the water out of your brush so you get a really nice bright color. We're just going to paint over the white in the eye. Make a nice bright yellow. Awesome. And then you can do your other eye as well. So the next step, you're going to rinse your brush out one more time. Get all the yellow out. And you are going to add just a little bit of white detailing to the nose and anywhere else you think you need it. So we're just going to do a line in the nose and a line coming down so it really makes the nose pop. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to my eye here and a, white, a little bit of white to my eye here so it really makes that owl pop and then you can even put some white highlights if you want to inside the wings but you guys are done thank you guys for getting artsy with us today we hope you enjoyed painting with us and let's show them your art Kason. okay see how awesome Kason's turned out he didn't do the yellow eyes he did the blue eyes so you can see here how Ours look different, but his looks really awesome. So yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And we want you to go ahead and share your art with us. We love seeing your art. And so if you want to share your art with us, you can send it to our website at www.artcstudio.com. Or you can um, tag us on Instagram at artcstudio. Or you can share it to our Facebook at artcstudio or um, at Miss Artsy. So... What else, Kason? I don't know. Maybe if you like our videos and you keep on wanting to see more, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. So please subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.